We are Hebrew Israelite man. I will come out week in, week out to come prophesy the dumb fall of this wicked kingdom. That's right. Right? We have a people that walk around and don't know themselves. Right? Because yo, we the children of Israel. We there for your purpose. Come. And if you don't know your purpose in life, you don't know how to act. That's right. Right? Our people them, they must feel so they must come here to do what they please. We can't do what we please. We the children of Israel, we have to do what the Lord ordained us to do. That's right. And once we are not doing what the Lord ordained us to do, we are gonna have crisis. We are gonna have trouble ahead of us. Right? So in order, if you do not have trouble ahead of us, we have to do what the Lord ordained us to do, which is to keep his commandment and stay in line. Right? But if we're not going to keep the Lord's commandment, obviously, we're asking for trouble. And for far too long, my people have been troubled, beaten, oppressed, don't press, dispossessed, Everything happened to them, man. Right? Where you can think of. But before further ado, we are going to glorify the Heavenly Father. And we say what? Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Ushai. Brakataya Hawa, Brakataya Ushai. I am Manuel Shalawa. Right? Hope me, Sharala. And we do say, man, right? We are give all, we are, we are glorify the Heavenly Father, man. Right? Black block of time in bless. Right? We are blessed, the Heavenly Father. Because yo, the Heavenly Father named Yahweh. And that is the, the power that exists. Right? right? And there is no power but him, man. And then him son, a Mashiach Yahweh Shai, man. What we say Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahweh Shai. And Yahweh Shai mean he come to deliver us, man, to save us. Sister. One minute of time. Okay, all right. Lord willing. Because something I go on the earth and now we have to address them. Right? And the thing where I go on the earth, give me Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and start at 3. Give me the book of Ezekiel chapter 4 and start at 7. Right? We the children of Israel are there for your purpose. We are there for come work for you then. That's right. right? We're there for work for the Father. And right now, I'm there for my duty. And the duty where I'm there for right now, I work for my Father. In truth and sincerity. Right? And these are the best job you can ever have. I don't have to go to university, but who want a top job? Because he's a top slave. Right? So my job where me want is this job. I am a servant of the Lord. And right. I come out to bring out my Lord's word. And this is the best job we could have ever want. We know you have your casa. This is Ecclesiastes. No, Ecclesiastes. no me don't want that. Go on the Bible. Ecclesiastes. Yeah, what? 12 and 12 and 12. This is Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12 and verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow down, bow themselves. So it said, in the day, the keepers of the house shall tremble. And right now, the keepers of the house, these are going to the rulers of this place, right? The boss, where own all of them establishment. It said, in the day, the keepers of the house shall tremble. Read. And the grinders cease, because they are few. So when it said, the grinders cease, the workers, right? The workers are going to cease because they are few. How many jobs? You see, give it away right now. The jobs are tightened up. You have one man, I do all three people work. Right? So the Heavenly Father said, the grinders are few. That's right. So the workers are few right now because the Heavenly Father are tightened up this place. That's right. Right? So the people who used to have one job and Right now, he want to have two and three to survive. Right? Because I cast a living, I go on. But right now, the Lord said, the grinders are few. Read. And those that look out of the windows be darkened. So when you used to look out of the window and call, 
Hello, Pat. Hello, Jeff. How you doing? You don't see Pat again, and you don't see Jeff. Because, yo, they might wonder if them job are going to remain. And how long they might remain that them job. Right? Because everywhere dark in, man. That's right. Right? Read. And the door shall be shut in the street. And the what? And, and the, the door, door shall be shut in the street. street. So when you look around, man, you see a lot of building closed down. Right? Nobody know in them. That's right. Vacancy. Somebody want to rent the building there. But nobody know the money to go rent the building. <laughs> because what? The doors are shut in the street. That's right. Right? The Heavenly Father right now I come down with all kind of misery in all our own life, man. That's right. But Israelite and heathen. That's right. Right? Because this is the last time. Come on. And you have to take heed and wake up and come back to the Heavenly Father. Teach and up. Else you got to smell something cooking. That's right. Read. When the sound of the grinding is low, mm -hmm. and ye shall rise up at the voice of the bird. You see? The bird, them even come. And they might listen to the word of the Heavenly Father. That's right. He say you shall weep, you shall grind up at the voice of the bird. Read. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. All of the daughters of music <laughs> shall be brought low. So you see the party party <laughs> and the rubber dub style. What do you so have up? Them think they brought low right now. That's right. The party now keep. Because the last time we not check where is the party, everybody plays broke down. Then they have not to put on a party, right? So the Heavenly Father said, the door are shut in the street, man, right? And how are you, daughter Zion? Yo, your phone just coming to an end, right? And all of the Edomites, them, we feel like them, they're on top, them coming down to sit in the dust, right? That's it, then. Yeah? Go down. Yeah, you yeah. This is Ezekiel. Chapter 4. And verse 7, Therefore thou shalt set thy face towards the siege of Jerusalem, and thine arm shall be uncovered, and thou shalt prophesy against it. So you see, the Heavenly Father said, There is a siege coming towards Jerusalem, and Ezekiel shall prophesy against it. Because right now, we people are under what? They are under a siege, right? Our people have been taken away from the royal throne, and have them a walk around in the dust right now. Because them under siege, they've been a conquer people. Right? Carry on. And behold, I will lay, I will lay bonds upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another. So the Lord said, I'm going to lay bonds upon thee, man. And you're not going to turn from one side to another, man. Right? So the Heavenly Father say, so we're not going to be comfortable. We're going to be very uncomfortable. Right? So we are going to sleep on one side. Read. Till thou hast ended the days of thy siege. Right now, we can see our people. Them, them look comfortable. La them, them look comfortable. La our people look more miserable. That's more than right. anybody who walk around them. That's right. Right? But them just are sure the best outside. Because what? We are a people that really, we can dig deep. Because we are strong people. That's right. Right? But our people them showing the best outside. When, yo, them know say, them are going to, in a hard year, pain, right? All kind of misery in them life. Them children, them can't even talk to them. Because why? We growing up our children in our society, we are telling us you cannot discipline your child. So their children become the mother and the father of the house. Right. Come like them want to run you out of the house. You become a mouse in your house. You know? Yesterday, we go on lady yard to go do some work. I'm going to go do some work and you know the lady asked me say, we talk to our son. And I said, but me wrote it. He means say, this woman want me really talk to her son. She said, he will listen to me because I'm an outsider. So imagine what she has got through, man. So our people putting on the best outside. When you know, so right now, everything at home belongs to the man. Right? Read. This is Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 9. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and fishes and put them in one vessel and make thee bread thereof so the lord said we'll we take all of these things because yo something i got happen right the lord said take barley take mint meat lentils take all kind of vegeta vegetable right and bring with you and do what 
and make the bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. So you see, according to the days that we are going to lie upon our side. <laughs> because right now, we are lying upon our side, man. Right? We don't have nothing in abundance. All we have is our work and to your table and back out of work again. Right? So the Lord said, we have to lay upon the side. We can't even turn. We are upon the side there. Sometimes you're tired of the side there. You want to turn from the other side to get little comfort. The Lord said, lay upon one side. Because yo, something I go on where the Lord will tell you to live on one side. Because what can read? 390 days shall thou eat thereof. 390 days shall thou eat thereof. On that one side. Right? Read. And thy meat which thou shalt eat shall be by weight 20 shekels. You see that? The, la the Lord said, and the meat where we are going to eat. It shall be by weight. Weight. So imagine. You can't eat as much as you like. The Lord said, it shall be by weight. So you have to make sure say, boy, you pick your little meat where you have to eat. Because yo, something coming around the corner where yo, you can't eat in abundance again. Read. From from time to time shalt thou eat it. From time to time shall thou eat it, man. So you're not gonna have all the meat where you can just say, okay, you know, may have a pizza, may have fish, may have chicken, and may have lamb, everything in the fridge we gonna eat. The Lord said, eat it by weight, right? Read. Verse 11. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. And the Lord said, I'm gonna give you water, but you have to drink it by measure. So you can't just take up one bottle of water and a goblet down your throat. You have to drink it by measure. So something I've won. Read. The sixth part of an inn, from time to time, shall thou drink. From time to time, you drink with water. You can't drink out the full bottle of water. Because you don't know when you're going to get the next bottle. Right? So right now, I tell the children of Israel, what day? Three years ago, the whole owner, in the store them I fight the toilet paper because what when it was in the house I only need have food in there I only need that heat very well so they go into the toilet half in and they go half kind of dung right so I need one paper for wipe with the ass right so right now the Lord has said if you are gonna drink water make sure you drink it little by little you don't drink half the whole light and if you are gonna heat meat make sure you heat by weight you can't just heat half so because what? Something never happened to the man. Because yo, this is what happened to the man. As me say, the last time when I fight the toilet paper, because what? We need to have one little thing going on the body. But right now, listen man, we don't have one no toilet paper. Because what? We don't know how to have toilet no more. Because you know, cracks are fat. Long the ass. Wait, yo, we don't care manage it. You understand? So, all of them people, with the more natural gas, they might get pipe to come put our pound right now. Because yo, when you start with the polypa rumbling in the belly, and them rumbling in the belly, you look gassy. Right? We say, we're not going to crack some long fat. Right? right? So at the end of the day, man, we're not going to no tiny paper. Because what? No dog not going to come. Right? Because what? We're not going to see. Read. Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 12. And thou shalt eat it as barley cake, mm -hmm. and thou shalt bake it with dung and that cometh out of a man in their sight. You see that? The Lord said, We're not going to bake all things with dung. We come out of a man. Right? So at the end of the day, man, the Heavenly Father telling us, We're not going to give poo poo, man. Right? That come out from men. <laughs> Read. <laughs> and the Lord said, Even thus, that the children of Israel eat the defiled bread among the Gentiles. And at that happen right now, we are eating defiled bread among the Gentiles, right? Because all of these food, we you see, we people them pack up and are running and are going to eat, man. Are defiled food. Because, yo, the Heavenly Father has tell we say, you know, we know if we eat nothing, we die of itself, right? We should do it. Give me that, give me that, you know more. Right? The Heavenly Father said we are going to eat defiled food. And the defiled food, the food that we are eating, 
We are going to them shop and we are buying things and we don't know how it look after. Right? The animal them and of time here them say bird flu. And them still are sell we bird. Right? And of time here them say mad cow disease. Them still have beef in our shop as hell. Right? So all foot and mouth and all of them things that the Lord said we are going to defile food. Read that king. This is Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 21. And ye shall not eat of anything that defileth of itself. Thou shalt give it to the stranger that is in thy gate. So the Lord said not dead children of Israel. We cannot eat it if it die of itself. We cannot eat it. But we should take it and give it to the other people them. We should give it to the eight reader. That he, uh, that he may eat it. So the Lord said we give it to the alien them. Make them eat it. So right now the children of Israel we in this place and eat defiled food, man. So we have to wake up and come back to the way of the Heavenly Father. Right. And left the defiled people um, with them defiled food. Right? That's it. Yeah. But thou may sell it unto an alien. And the Lord said so we should sell them. But you see how they turn around? Right now the Lord make we, they must sell it to us. So we are eating defiled food. Because what? We don't listen to what the Lord said. If we listen to what the Lord said, and we don't run things. That's and right. And we don't sell them mad cow disease food. And we don't sell them chicken, um, what they call them, uh, 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 whatever, dead by itself. They would have eat it. Because we don't have the upper hand. But now they have the upper hand, and they might give us the file food for eat, man. Right? But yo, we're there with the word of the Lord, man. That's right. And we are making to know where I go on. By the Spirit of the Heavenly Father. Read on. Ezekiel chapter 4. Verse 13, and the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Then said I, O oh, Lord God, behold, my soul had not been polluted, for from my youth up even till now have I not eaten of that which died of itself. So Ezekiel said, Lord, I never eat no defiled food, man. So yo, Lord, me never eat no defiled food. From my youth, growing up, I've been keeping your laws. I've been keeping your commandment, Lord. So Lord, I'm going to eat defiled food. But yo, Ezekiel is unto us a sign. That's right. That's what the Heavenly Father said, man. Right? Read on. Oh, it's torn in pieces. Neither came near, neither came there abomination flesh into my mouth. Neither came to us abomination flesh. And you know what's abomination flesh? The Lord gave us some laws where he said we should make sure we honor these laws. We should not eat pork. We should not eat crab, shrimps, lobster. These things are abomination food. So if you have pork for your table and you have children of Israel, you're eating defiled food, man. Right? So we just have one of our brother come right here and yo. Him there and him attack off him out and him no one validate nothing what the book has said. Him just feel like say, him I go do what him please. And it don't work so with the heavenly father man. We have to do what the Lord ordained us to do in order to make sure say, we reap prosperity. But if we want to be that chicken head guy that do not want to listen to what the heavenly father said, we are going to have all kind of calamity coming upon us man. Read our kings. Verse. This is Ezekiel chapter 4 of verse 15. Then he said unto me, Lo, I have given thee cows dung for men's from for men's dung, and thou shalt prepare thy bread therewith. So you see, the Lord tell Ezekiel, say, Yo, me now give you the men dung. May I give you cow dung. So you see, you don't know when the cow eat. He eat grass uh, and he go let out to him and let out, right? So you see all kind of wheat grow up, right? So we can use the wheat and make our own milk, man, right? Because yo, the heavenly father, look after Ezekiel. He must say, yo, me I give you cow dung. Me not go give you man dung, God. right? All of these people and your man dung, them sin against me, man. So that's why them all have their man dung, that's right? right? Read. Verse 16, moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem, and they shall eat bread by weight, 
and with and with care, and they shall drink water by measure with astonishment. Right, because yo, the abundance of things that we used to have, we don't have it no more. Right? And yo, we are gonna eat bread by measure, man. Remember one time me two and brother them major bread. And the reason why they call him major bread. He major him bread and yard and left it and the children then go eat it. And when he come back and drop him rule upon it, him says a piece gone. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna call the man and say we break the bread, man. Because we measure the bread. Right? So the Lord said we are gonna eat things in measure. Right? So yo, the far fetch man, it's here. Me say, when he used to fight for the paper, but he not go gassy, right? Well, if I win, I go in now, no man, and I go here lock. And when you hear lock, you know the drop out, right? You know, can't move. You ever see a truck here lock? Lock up, can't move, right? So, you know, go here lock, man. That's it. Verse 17 that they may want bread and water and be astonished one with another and consume away for their iniquity. By on a sin, on a go consume away, man, right? Because we people them don't even know what is sin, right? And we they out here a teach for the longest while. And we people them don't even want to be curious to find out what's really going on and how we sin and break the heavenly Father commandment. The Christian church is not teaching us nothing. The Christian church is not... Hey, look over there, sir, man. Look how ugly that building is, man. I be a demon under that building. Right? Call church. I'm look right there, sir. So I'm on him, there. No one go up that. I want go up that, you know. I want dark around the corner there, you know. Right? So people them know themselves. Them put up the monument if a goat. Because they represent the goat. God. And we represent the sheep. That's right. Right? And them, rep them, them, them have a monument that one dark around the corner they talk. <laughs> right? So at the end of the day, them know them are dealing with, man. See? And it, in a plain sight, we're in a spiritual, you can't certain things, man. Right? And that's why we dig the book, man. And we make sure, you have something. We dig the book, man. And we make sure, say, we in order with the power, man. Read there. Leviticus chapter 19, chapter 20, and verse 25. He shall therefore put a difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beasts or by fowl, by any manner of living thing that creepeth on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. Right, because the heavenly father make all kind of different animals, right? Oh and he separates some, some clean and some unclean. I mean, just hear a brother what was here earlier and him said, the heavenly father make all kind of animal and yo, he said don't call them clean or unclean. But he just said, he make clean and unclean, right? So we have to eat the clean things. We cannot go and eat the unclean things. We are get defiled, right? So you have to understand the scripture. The scripture pointed out to the children of Israel and we who have the understanding, we have to come and teach our brothers and sisters so they can stay in order. We do have your cousin. This is Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 1. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down. The Lord said he made the earth empty and make it waste and turn it upside down right now. Because the last time I checked, I look on my TV and them say, Mr. Putin and the uh, wanted. And I said, but we brought it. Or the Russian president for wanted. Them say, yes, he wanted. When we take a stop, when one wanted for? Them say, him take some children from Ukraine and carry them over Russia. And then him tell the people from Ukraine to come and get them children. But he wanted for that. And then, remember when Haiti have one earthquake. Right? I remember what that. It says, them want him for that. Then America now, when the business with ICC, they not have no qualms with them. Them start clap them and say, yeah, it's good thing them said Mr. Putin is wanted for war crime. It don't make no sense. Because what? At the end of the day, you not in a nothing with the ICC, but you are clapping and say, yeah, you recognize it now. Because it go, because, go against the enemy. This is buffoonery, man. 
and this is a hypocritical people oh, we're living right. amongst. That's because right. what? When 18 have earthquake, right? You have American mercenaries went over 80s and teach the people them children and carry them away, right? And then everything go underneath the rug. You know, you're not about it, right? All the checks, so we forget nothing. We don't forget nothing, man. And we look down and we say, well, I'm a liar, right? Read on, Yakaza. And scattereth of both the inhabitants thereof. Right, because the Lord scattered the inhabitants. And who are the inhabitants? We, the children of Israel, the Lord scatter us right around the four corners of the earth. And the reason why I'm scatter us, because we are going to take over and we are going to put people in a subjection. Just like all them put us in a subjection, that's what coming to them, right? So we don't know fear them, man. It's going to happen, man. More than that. Give me the book of um, Second Ezra. And it shall Chapter be 15, as with the people, so with the priests. No, go to the right. So at the end of the day, man, the Lord said the earth broke in down, man. Right? And everything out of course, man. Right? Because I am do the broken down. I am do everything. We, the children of Israel, we have to come in order and make sure say, we not perish. Because enough of we are going dead boy. Right? right? We have to listen what the Lord said. And when we listen what the Lord said, we are going to get prosperity, man. Oh. Right? Second Ezra chapter 15 and start at 56. Second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 56. Life as, life as thou hast done unto, thy, unto my chosen, say the Lord, even so shall God do unto thee and shall deliver thee into mischief. So right now, and that's why you see Putin, Biden, the all of the leaders them, the Lord deliver them into mischief, right? Because Putin, Tell him pilot them to take out one, one chewing out of here. And the pilot gonna go take you out of here and dump in I see. Because they must pipe on the man business. Right? And I want the man to defend himself. Right? So we don't understand why these people come and I come go and like say, they want to do what them please. And then when them get rejected, they feel like they have to draw some narrative. Because they're my world police. That's right. But if you are world police, you're supposed to govern just. No. But you're not governing just. You're governing and you're doing what you think is right in your eyes, man. You're doing biased dealings. So you the heavenly father, I got set up somebody over you, man, to put in your place, man. Because how long you think you're going to rain, man? You're going to rain for a time. Who are you? Who are you? That's kind of... Um, this is Psalms chapter 82 and verse 5. They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Good precept. All the foundations of the earth are out of course, man. Because what? This earth is out of course because the children of Israel are out of line. The enemy of the children of Israel, they are the ones that are ruling. So they are the ones that are ruling, so the earth is out of course, man. That's right. Right? But here we know, no? all of these out of course things are going to put in a righteous movement now. Because we wake up and we know who we are. Give me second Ezra chapter 6 and start 24. Right? We wake up and we know who we are, man. So, read what you have. This is Isaiah chapter 24, verse 3. The land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled. The land shall be utterly empty and utterly spoiled. Because what? Right now the land will get empty, man. Right? Because when we check a stack, you know how much people the Heavenly Father shake out and hurt right now. That's right. When they look over there in a, um, our Mozambique, uh, Malawi, and then place there, the land has joined people, man. That's right. And if he's not joining them, he's shaking them out of the hurt. And if he's not using the earthquake, he's using Mr. Putin and he's using Zelensky, right? For shooting each other. In the Lord, I get them out, I hurt. The Lord said, the hurt for empty. He might empty it out, man. 
creed for the Lord have spoken this word. Mm -hmm. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. What did Lord say? The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The herd are mourn and are feared away because of the wickedness of Palu, the hurt man. The Lord said the earth is mourning and fear it away, man. Read. The world languisheth and fadeth away. And the earth languish and fear that away, man. Because what? Everything round are not going right, man. Everything are pop down. The store them are pop down. You're going at the supermarket. The shelf them not pack up like how them used to pack up before. Certain items missing half of the shelf. So everything are pop down. The heavenly father is in control. The haughty people of the earth do languish it languish. Mm -hmm. The haughty people, the haughty people of the earth do act languish. So the haughty man and them are languish, them are walk all over the place and they can't find where they want. Right? Because what? They must look and they can't go find because the Lord say, you know, Israel, you obtain where you are searcher. He can't find where man search for. Because what? He lost himself. Right? <laughs> read that king, read that. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 24. At that time shall friends fight one against another. No, go on. Second Ezra. Second Ezra chapter 6, 27. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 27. For evil shall put out and this. Let me just tell you. Second. Oh, so lucky. Yeah, go on, go to just Evil. 6.27. Second Ezra, chapter 6, and verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and the seed shall be quenched. Woo! Rewind that again. What did the Lord say? Second Ezra, chapter, chapter 6, and verse 27. For evil shall be put out, and the seed shall be quenched. Evil shall be put out of the earth. And the sea shall be quenched, right? Because all of the evil were going in this place. The Lord said it shall put out of the earth. And the sea shall be quenched. So imagine, you don't know all of these things. The Lord said, I'm going to quench the sea. He's going right. to put out evil out of the earth. So yo, it's going to be a new dawn. It's going to be a new beginning, right? And the beginning of righteousness is going to start coming on the earth. Because this is what we are breathing. We are breathing in righteous ear. And that's why we attack righteousness, man. Right? Read on, King. As for faith, it shall flourish. And this is what we have right now. Faith. And faith will flourish. That's right. Round our brothers, man. Round our sisters, man. The one that were mindful of the heavenly father. That's right. Faith will flourish with them, man. Right? Because we have faith. That's why we stand up out here. God. Yes, so we stand up out here, big, bad, and bold. Because the heavenly father said, then shall the righteous man stand. Give me that. And the corruption.